Hi, my name is Eleonora Nicoletti and today I'm going to talk to you about solar energy and some of the beautiful things that can be done with it. First of all, a little bit about me. I am an architect and I like designing spaces that can be animated with light, color, movement and energy. Let me show you an example. The problem with designing spaces is that they can use a lot of energy and produce waste, polluting the environment. One way of reducing this negative impact on the environment is using energy from the sun. Solar energy is made of two components. One is heat and the other is light. Today I'm going to talk to you about what can be done with sunlight in particular. Usually, sunlight looks white, but truly it is composed of multiple colors, which is something you can see clearly when there is a rainbow after a storm. By reflecting white light with a CD, you can see its beautiful colors, as in this picture. Sunlight can also be used to generate solar power. This means that light from the sun, which hits particular materials called photovoltaics, can be transformed into electricity. This can then be used to power devices such as light bulbs in your homes, without polluting the environment. Photovoltaic materials can be found in modules commonly called solar panels. These are composed of many solar cells and form photovoltaic arrays. Where can you find photovoltaic arrays? For instance, on the roof of houses. Solar panels can be simply attached onto the roof or they can be fully integrated into it. The roof is not the only part of a building where you can see solar panels. These can also be found integrated into facades and shades. Solar arrays can also be found in different configurations, composing unusual forms. This possibility has inspired me in my work. A few years ago, it made me want to create something that could embed photovoltaic materials to generate electricity, but also move in the wind. That's how I created the dancing screen, a photovoltaic installation that appears to dance. And I also worked on a project for which a park was covered in solar-powered lights called solar jars. Each of these contained a solar cell which generated electricity and a little light that glowed at night. 
To reduce plastic waste, I started creating solar-powered lights by reusing plastic from packaging to make lampshades. These lights embed a solar cell and a tiny light bulb each. They are modular and can be assembled in various ways, for instance to form a curtain or a room divider. Last year, Anthony Castronovo and I were asked to create a solar-powered artwork in Doha, Qatar. We decided to use solar-powered lights, plastic waste and temporary structures typical of building sites in Doha. To compose a design inspired by Islamic patterns, we used repurposed CDs and plastic bottles that were decorated by students like you. The artwork they made with us was called Solar Shimmer. We'd like to create a new version of Solar Shimmer with you, similar to what you see in this picture. The solar lights forming the sea waves design will be decorated by you according to your imagination. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have fun with solar art!